Hey guys, welcome to the final part of the Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Night Kirby Nightmare in Dream. I don't I, know. Good. Z that, that was, was a, I, it was better than than the. Yep. Nope. Nope. It wasn't. Nope. <laughs> My name is Chris. My name is Trey. We are the console freaks. Hello. I've missed this. <laughs> Honestly, as this as this playthrough wraps up, like we've been able to do this all in one session, and I really do miss. Af given the fact that this is our fair first playthrough back from yeah. hiatus, I do miss did or I did miss doing this regularly and being able to you know just shoot the breeze and have fun and talk about video games. Oh, they're so cute but so deadly. The hardest part about this particular section is that like the your spacing is so precise and it's ice physics ah uh, yeah so like right there that showed you like precision it's like playing pachinko in reverse <laughs> look it's okay usually when you get the uh, invincibility all you have to do is just like mad dash it's like Mad Cash, except for uh, Rainbow Dash is involved. I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen with My Little Pony in my life. You've never what? I've never seen My Little Pony in my life. Me neither. Oh, they're gone. I was. What would you have done if I had did it again, Trey? Oh. <laughs> no! No! All my bullet hell experience coming to a close. Yeah. Play some more Gundamonium. I gotta practice up, Chris. I wanna be able to dodge through. Actually, oh, as bad as Gundamonium good. is, there are much worse bullet hells out there. Oh, yeah. Like, have you ever played Ikaruga? I have not. It's a it's a Japanese game uh, that came out on the GameCube. Um, next time Brandon's over, I'll have him... I'll have him bring it. Yeah. Um, but it is insanely tricky because it still falls under the bullet hell genre. But it's very unconventional in its methods. What do you mean? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Basically, like, you... Oh, they're getting faster. I, I don't I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm bad at games. Boom. Especially when I die and yawn. I'm bad at commentary too. I'm just bad at a lot of things. Are these your points down there? Yeah. You have over a million points. I wonder what the high score is in this game. Uh probably max points. Considering ah. you can go back and redo levels. Yeah. Like, basically, you can get as many points as you want as long as you don't get a game over. That's true. Okay, yeah. So, the high score in this is probably just that. It's a person that's probably oh. went through the main game up to the final boss, like, perfectly. I wanted it. Couldn't it's not get worth it. it. I thought, now it's worth it, and then they came back, and I'm like, OH GOD! No, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just resigned to my fate. Thankfully, I won't be making that mistake again. Woohoo, no. I thought he was gonna do it again. <laughs> what are you, stupid? I wonder if, if, you, if you were able to suck those up, what would you get? Gordos? Probably... I would get Spike. Spike it. Lucky. Timed. There isn't anything lucky about it. I just timed my... It's all lucky. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. Trey, you know that I'm not luck. No skip. No skip. No skip. <laughs> yeah, you remember that 7 that I got earlier? Like, where I barely even made it? Yeah. That was because Kiara attacked me while I was, um... While I was recording, like she jumped oh, on dear. my lap. Oh dear! Oh dear! 
The flashing. The fla <laughs> seizure procedure. Warning seizure incoming. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed like that. Come on, Grez. Wheelie, you. or the the wheel is kind of a pain in the ass to fight without. Um, without something. Yeah, without something, because it's a little bit random on where he drops his little little minions. Yeah, little minions, and you can't. I don't think you can uh, inhale the red ones for a power. Ah, that sucks. Yeah. But you can inhale him for one. For the power up that all the other wheels have. Ooh. It's useless. Okay. Oh, it's because it's going down. That's yeah, why. Yeah, there's okay, one was... going down, one going up, one going down. I was, one I was really up, confused. One going down. Like... I'm gonna hit him. He's gonna <laughs> hit you. <laughs> I landed on him. This isn't Mario, Chris. Can't just land with the. Speaking of Mario, are you s excited for Mario Maker? Yes. I'm excited. You all should be too. <laughs> Has E3 not bit. taught you anything? What's E3? My mom doesn't let me watch that. Don't joke about that. <laughs> that just got too real for me for a second. <laughs> for the longest time, my mom wouldn't even. My mom wouldn't let me watch. Uh, G4 in general. The, yeah. The whole channel. My mom blocked it whenever we had uh, Dish. Same here. <laughs> but why? One or two words. Code Monkeys. Ooh. My parents watched one episode of Code Monkeys and were like, oh. How could we let our kids watch this? This is the devil's show. This is an homage, actually, because the originally the original game, Kirby's Dreamland, was on the NES, nice. and this stage is based on that. It kind of goes through the whole, like, a lot of the level motifs that uh, the original game had. I thought mm -hmm. it was... I can't recall if this is the last level before boss... before final boss time. Uh, I believe it is. So, um, it's kind of an interesting little throwback. Uh, it's it's appreciated from a game like this, where if yeah. you if you create a if you create a sequel or a or a remake, it's good to give it its own little flair, its own little you know identity. But if you do, it's good to pay homage to the original in a way that's relatable and not just, like, generic. Yeah. And I think that that was, I, I think that that was good what they did in designing the last level with the music and, uh, you know, design from the original game. But with the enemy models and Kirby being the same. I thought he was about to suck it in. That's what she said. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no. Oh no! It's okay. One thing though, I think that they should have made the enemies and Kirby monochrome as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's, yeah. Because it's kind of a... little bit of a contrast. It, or it creates a contrast. Mm the way it is now and it doesn't really like it feels like a retro level rather than feeling like a natural level for the game um they could have made it less they could have gone all the way with the gimmick instead of just kind of half-assing it yeah this one this is oh this is the final final level great you're a it's everybody's favorite melee stage. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teach DDD the magic of touch damage. Um, you can actually cancel out his attacks with with the parasol. Nice. And uh, yeah, he sucks you in, chucks you out. He's he's really easy, but he has a crap ton of health. 
Yeah, so yeah. that's the only thing that's bad about him as a as a boss. But game's done, right? What? Yes. Where are you going? What is that? Obligatory space shooter level. What is that thing? It's <laughs> now it's time. <laughs> this is your. This is the Kirby hell. Yeah. It's Kirby bullet hell. Mm -hmm. This is nightmare. Um, comes in two phases. Pretty easy, I would say. At least the first one. His last, like, basically just hit him with your star rod. Um, pr his projectiles will block yours. Yeah. Uh, which are kind of stupid. I wish they would just cancel each other out rather than having him straight up block it. But all in all, not a very difficult section. This next part is in my opinion also you can't lose the star the star rod okay so that's Even a plus you, you unlike get hit yeah yeah is that nightmare what is that is that true nightmare freddy fastbear fright bear oh so the way to fight nightmare is you wait for the his cloak to open up and show his creamy center and then you hit it with a star rod and thankfully if you lose here as I'm about to do um, you start right here okay. instead of at the beginning of the bullet hell thing It's punishing, but forgiving. Yeah. It's kind of an odd combination. But as a final boss, I think, like... I think Nightmare does his job just fine. Yeah. You know, he kind of comes out of nowhere and doesn't really fit the rest of what the game... Like, the rest of the theme of the game. Which I think is a little bit jarring. But... Like, he's not an incredibly hard boss, so at the same time, I, I have a hard time complaining too much about it. I say as I've died twice. I've died more <laughs> times. Well, there was a level that I died twice on, so I can't really say that much. But Trey, as the game draws to a close... Well, nah, I'll save that for the end. We'll think of something else to talk about between now and then. What How's is, your day, What ben? is he, exactly? <laughs> what now? Just trying to figure out what he is. Like, is bad. Just bad. Just, just a bad guy. He's Somebody evil, you don't want to... Evil incarnate. Hmm... How do you feel about random bosses that just come out of nowhere and have served, like, no purpose to what the rest of everything has been? Oh, they're always fun to fight. Really annoying. <laughs> fun to fight. And, and the bosses like that always have, like, two different stages yep. of what you have Final to Final boss. Yeah. I like how the the level is scrolling and I don't, I'm not moving. I know, you're just standing there crouching. Level's like, I'm going to move you for you, okay? Yep. Okay. Creates the illusion of forward momentum. This is where the moonwalking came from. <laughs> he blew up the moon. Now, that's not nearly as bad as it was in <laughs> Sonic Adventure. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the star rod. But King Gated, he didn't mean any harm. Yeah, okay. Okay. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. Oh, no. It all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. The nightmares rode the currents of the fountain <laughs> of dreams, wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of He's dreamland. Just flying with him. Hey man, what when up? When King Dedede hid the star rod, uh, the power source of the fountain of dreams, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. You know? Okay. 
before I continue in my whatever voice that was, that's hilarious to me. D King Dedede was hiding the the star rods that the nightmares would not have access to it, and yet Kirby beat him up. Kirby is the bad guy in this game. <laughs> And Kirby just puts it right back. Yeah, Kirby is the bad guy in this game. Yeah. I mean, DDD was just trying to help, and he's just like, no, sc screw you. Kirby's yeah. just like, if you want to help, that's not the way you do it. Yep. Yeah. We have to kill! And Kirby, yeah. beats up. <laughs> Kirby beats him up. Anyways, credits are rolling. What are your thoughts on uh, Nightmare in Dreamland? So, okay, say that last part one more time. I, I said, credits are rolling. Right what are your thoughts on Nightmare in Dreamland? Uh, it's de I think it's a lot better than uh, than uh, Sunshine from when when we played it. Is that and Sunshine? Uh, what am I talking about? Superstar. Superstar. What am I? Why did I say Sunshine? I'm thinking of Mario. Mario. Um, it's definitely not repetitive. Like I didn't know you get the, got that power up from that. It's because I didn't try. What the heck? But. Yeah, it's it's a whole lot better to uh, talk over and talk about too because there's a lot of stuff in this. Well, obviously there's a lot of stuff in this that I haven't seen because um, I've because because I haven't played it. Chris, there's a lot of things you haven't shown off. I didn't know you got that power up from that either. I didn't know that. Either. <laughs> I'm sad now, Chris. Look what you've done to me, but. But all in all, I think it's a really good game. This is really uh, it, was, it was. It was. Did the it was localization on this. Uh huh. You said Bill Trinan did the localization on this. <laughs> That's one way of doing that too. But uh, this was really fun to watch you play. Just, just to to have not played it myself, it was still really, really, really fun to watch. Myself. Being as though I this game has a lot of nostalgia credit with me. Yeah. I it was one of the first games that I actually saw advertisement for. It was I, during the time where I had just gotten cable, so this game actually sparked the uh, what was it? Uh, Kirby's right back at or Kirby right back at you. Yep. That was the show that came from this game. And uh, and I used to watch that show all the time. I can't remember anything from it now because I'm old and jaded. But um, you know, it, all in all, it was a good game and a solid Kirby game. A little bit hard, but difficulty, you know, is not necessarily a bad thing to me. Yep. So uh, I could recommend it to to our viewers watching out there, personally. But anyways, that is the end of the playthrough. Thank you guys for watching once again, and we will see you guys next time. Goodbye.